for gestational age or IUGR. What are the differences between these two? How to differentiate? The most common definitions used and either agreed by consensus of experts and other national guidance terminology definition notes suggested that appropriate for gestational age is the one in which fetal size is between 10th and 90th centile. Small for gestational age is the one in which the fetal size is less than 10th centile. In fetal growth restriction, the fetal size or abdominal circumference is either less than 3rd centile or less than 10th centile with the Doppler abnormalities. It can be described as early when it is detected, before 31 plus 6 weeks or late from 32 weeks onward. Static growth is the one in which there is no forward growth velocity in estimated fetal weight or abdominal circumference measured at least 14 days apart. Fetal size is measured at a single time point in pregnancy and assessed via individual biometric measurements, for example, head circumference, abdominal circumference, femur length, or when these all measurements are combined together, we get the estimated fetal weight using different formulas. Fetal growth is a dynamic process occurring throughout the pregnancy requiring multiple assessments and a minimum of at least two measurements of fetal size. Additional information that can be considered include maternal history and symptoms, amniotic fluid assessment and Doppler velocimetry. Any measurement obtained, either biometry or estimated fetal weight, can only be interpreted when plotted on a growth chart to determine both the centile of the measurement but also any change in the growth trajectory. An appropriate for gestational age fetus is the one whose size is within a normal range for its gestational age. This is typically defined as between the 10th and the 19th centiles. A fetus is considered small for gestational age when the individual biometric measurements or a combination of measurements used to estimate fetal weight falls below the set parameters and require accurate assessment of the gestational age. Commonly, the definition of SGA refers to a fetus with a predicted weight or an as, uh, abdominal circumference measurement less than 10 centile. SGA at birth is commonly diagnosed based on a birth weight below the 10th centile and often birth weight charts are adjusted for the sex of the baby. In contrast, the fetal growth restriction implies a pathological restriction of the genetic growth potential. Some but not all growth restricted fetuses or infants are SGA. The likelihood of fetal growth restriction is higher in fetuses that are smaller. Growth restricted fetuses may manifest evidence of fetal compromise that is abnormal Doppler studies or reduced Likert volume. Defining fetal growth restriction and thus diagnosing it in a current pregnancy is challenging because of the need to determine the growth potential. Similarly, risk assessing whether fetal growth restriction existed in a previous pregnancy presents a different channel challenge. There is a need to focus on those fetuses at risk of adverse outcome and thus those that are fetal growth restricted rather than SGA using varying parameters such as sequential ultrasound measurements, Doppler assessments and the biomarkers. Fetal growth restriction can also be subdivided clinically into early and late depending on the gestational age with the variation in the gestational thresholds between 32 and 37 weeks. A Delphi consensus-based definition of FGR in this 2024 RCG guideline has been suggested for use both in clinical practice and in research for early defined in Delphi consensus as before 32 weeks and late onsys FGR. Late means after 32 weeks. Saving Babies Life Care Bundle version suggests practical definitions for fetal growth restriction in a previous pregnancy, fetal growth restriction in current pregnancy, and suboptimal growth. It highlights that 
absent or reverse and diastolic flow in umbilical arteries a feature of early onset fgr but importantly that absence of this feature for example a, a normal umbilical artery doppler from 32 weeks of gestation doesn't mean that the fetus is not growth restricted and doesn't rule out the possibility of fetal compromise Definition of fetal growth restriction in a previous pregnancy as a risk factor is defined as any of the following. Birth weight below third centile in a previous pregnancy. Early onset preeclampsia or fetal growth restriction necessitating birth before 32 weeks in a previous pregnancy. Birth weight below 10 centile with the evidence of placental dysfunction that is defined as below for the current pregnancy. Definition of fetal growth restriction in a current pregnancy as a risk factor is defined as any of the following. Estimated fetal weight or abdominal circumference below the third centile. Estimated fetal weight or abdominal circumference below the 10th centile with the evidence of placental dysfunction either abnormal uterine artery doppler mean pulsatility index above 95th centile and or abnormal umbilical artery doppler which means absent or reversed and diastolic flow or pulsatility index above 95th centile the table one in this guideline show the consensus based definition for early and late fetal growth restriction in the absence of congenital anomalies Early FGR is in the gestational age of less than 32 weeks in the absence of congenital anomalies in which abdominal circumference by estimated fetal weight ratio is less than third centile or umbilical artery show absent and diastolic flow or the ratio of, of abdominal circumference and estimated fetal weight is less than 10 centile combined with either uterine or free pulsatility index more than 95th centile and or umbilical artery pulsatility index of more than 95th centile late fgr is in the gestational age of more than 32 weeks in the absence of congenital anomalies in this condition the ratio of abdominal circumference versus estimated fetal weight is less than third centile or at least there are two out of three of these features number one the ratio of abdominal circumference versus estimated fetal weight is less than 10 centile secondly the ratio of the abdominal circumference versus estimated fetal weight crossing centile of more than two quartiles on the growth centiles thirdly the cerebroplacental ratio is less than fifth centile or Umbilical artery pulsatility index is more than 95th centile. Suboptimal fetal growth may also be indicative of fetal growth restriction. And it can be diagnosed when previously well-grown fetus fail to maintain adequate fetal growth during pregnancy. Suboptimal growth is difficult to define with a pattern of slowing growth velocity that is downward trend in the centile. The Delphi consensus defines suboptimal fetal growth as the ratio of abdominal circumference and estimated fetal weight crossing centiles greater than two quartiles on non-customized growth centiles of more than 32 weeks, which is equivalent to 50th centile. Static growth can be defined as no forward growth velocity in estimated fetal weight or uh, abdominal circumference measured at least 14 days apart. Low birth weight refers to an infant with a birth weight less than 2500 gram regardless of the gestation. This is no longer used in clinical practice as majority of pregnancies have an early dating scan therefore birth weight can be adjusted for the gestational age this definition is included for interpretation of older research papers only fetal growth restriction has previously been described as symmetrical or asymmetrical and it has been proposed that it may help determine possible etiology. 
However, 2024 guidelines says that this feature can vary and is not prognostic of outcomes, so should no longer be used as a description of fetal growth restriction. So thank you so much. That were the differences between IUGR and STA according to 2024 RCOG guideline. Subscribe on Ops and Guiding. Allah Hafiz.